Well, you look at that. The sun is shining. That doesn't happen every day around here. Uh, I had a customer ask me about a relay question. Let's go inside. I'm gonna get the store opened and I'll show you what's up. So a customer came in, he had done his own little trunk build, put some lighting in there. He wanted to be able to push a pad that he had, a sense pad, uh, to turn it on, but he wanted to, be able to have it shut off when the trunk closed. So I had to design a little circuit so that, could, that would function properly. So let me show you how that works. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Well, we have two wires already. We have 12 volts going to the light and we have a negative trigger triggering the light. So how are we gonna do this? 85 is gonna to go to this negative trigger. 30 and here's your switch. We'll call that the switch. <clears throat> one side of the switch and 30 are both going to go to the 12 volt light. This side is going to go to 86 and 87 is your output. So right now if I were to touch this, say his sense pad, it would just turn the relay on, turn the relay off. Well that's not going to work for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop these two back together. So every time when this gets triggered, it's going to back feed this circuit keeping that relay on. We are going to add a diode right here so it can't back feed to the switch. Normally this wouldn't matter in something like this, but some circuits it does, I'll explain that in a future video. So how this works, press the sense button, triggers this, throws power to here, loops back, keeps it on. As soon as you shut the trunk, this ground will go away. When that happens, lights turn off. So that's it. A quick, easy way to make a latching relay. Obviously this won't fit every application, but it'll fit quite a few. Stay tuned for more. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Always have a great day.